Hey y'all, it's Nona. And today I'm here with my big blue bucket, which means it's time for my empties for May 2022. Um, I'm just gonna reach and grab uh, what's in here. I have some food items, some drinks, household, etc. I got this at Dollar Tree and it's the Sangria Senorel Sparkling Non-Alcoholic Sangria Natural and Artificial Flavor Soda. I did not like this <laughs> because it did taste like wine and I'm just not a wine drinker. So I did drink it, but I won't purchase that again. I got these Zaps potato chips and they are the New Orleans style kettle sweet Creole onion. I also got these at Dollar Tree. I absolutely love them. I only picked up two bags. I wish I would have picked up more. I thought they were so, so good. Also this Wiley Wallaby Soft and Chewy Classic Red Strawberry um, Licorice. These are a lot uh, bigger around. They're like the Twizzlers, but they come in little lengths about this long and they're about this big around, so quite a bit larger and they're not hollow. They're solid and I thought these were so good. This is the best licorice I've ever ate. These are the HERS Baby Back Rib Flavored Potato Chips. I got these at Dollar Tree. These are so good. They taste exactly like ribs. I mean, they were so good. Okay. This is the Boylan Bottling Company Shirley Temple Cane Sugar Soda. My friend Faye Blatcher hauled this on her channel and she did a taste test and she didn't care for it. And I had commented on her video that I loved Shirley Temples. Uh, but this, she was right, this did not taste good. This, this did not taste like a Shirley Temple to me. It really didn't have a lot of cherry flavor to it and I, I didn't really care for it, so I would not repurchase that. These are the Corinthians flavored cream wafers and strawberry. These were delicious. Uh, all these food products so far have came from Dollar Tree. These were amazing. I found these in hazelnut, chocolate, and vanilla, but never strawberry, and these were so good. And you could definitely save this little tin and store stuff in it. So, you know, I like to get two first. I used this Splat Complete Kit Color Bleach and Peroxide in Purple Desire to dye my hair. Um, it worked fine, but uh, it seems like it's washing out. Um, so, uh, anyways, I, I, I don't care for my hair this color. Everyone else seems to like it. I guess the dye was okay, but like I said, uh, I, I don't have a lot of experience with dyeing my hair. This is only the second time I believe I've ever dyed my hair, and I just, I don't know. It seems like it's literally washing out, and I thought it was a permanent. Uh, I used up the Great Scents Odor ne Neutralizer in Breezy Meadows. This smelled really good. I did like this. We used up the Glade Limited Edition Happy Go Lilac. This smelled really good. It, it smelled just like a lilac bush, and I really enjoyed that. This <laughs> was the hair donut that I had in my homemade color switch. I finally retired this one and got a new one for it. You can see all the loose shadow in the bag. Um, so yeah, this is finally going bye-bye. I just rinsed out the tin and I'm gonna put a new hair donut in it. Used up these um, Bolero Hydrating Cleansing Facial Wipes and Watermelon and Sweet Mint. I absolutely love these for swatches and you know, wiping my hands, wiping off my desk, have you, whatever. I get those at Dollar Tree. I tried this cinnamon bun flavored Snickers. I did not like this. I don't know, I don't care for cinnamon and chocolate together. Um, so yeah, I didn't care for that. Um, this is the Suave Men's Active Sport Antiperspirant. Use this up, this came from Dollar Tree. Smelled really nice. Uh, I'm getting rid of this hairbrush, it's old. I used it, um, it's time to just get rid of it. These are the B Color LED Lighted Tweezers. This is the package and this is them. And um, there's a little button here on the front. And you're supposed to be able to push it and it's supposed to light up. These never worked for me. Um, I didn't care for them at all. I don't recommend. Those came from Dollar Tree as well. 
I used a, a razor. This is a Bic Soleil. This is a good razor. These last me about a month. So, and then the last things are some lip balms. I did not have very, matter of fact, I'm not even sure if I had one lip, lip balm uh, empty last month, uh, but I made up for it this month. <laughs> I had a bunch that I just finished off that were from last month as well. I have two of these. They are the Chap Ice Lip Balm Moisture SPF 15. Then I have one Burt's Bees in Mango and five Chap Ice Lip Balm Original SPF 4. I really like these for a cheap lip balm. I prefer unscented, unflavored lip balms, and these are my favorite in that type of category. Um, if you're lucky, you can find these in a three pack at Dollar Tree, but uh, mostly all I see nowadays is the two packs. But anyways, so I have eight lip balms this month, but like I said uh, last month, I had a bunch that were just almost done and I just didn't take the time to dig them out last month and finish them. I was just distracted and busy and I just, you know, so they got used up this month. That's why there were so many. Anyways, if you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. That's all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.